Hello there guys, in this video we will learn the effects that the death of Qui-Gon Jinn had, the almost rogue Jedi Master that instructed what would become the Master of Trolling, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now it's safe to say that Qui-Gon died prematurely in Phantom Menace, we would like to have seen more out of him and in a way we did, with him appearing in the Clone Wars series and in some rendition of Legends comics. We all know that the people most affected by his death was his Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi, however there is one more Jedi that took this to heart as well and that was Qui-Gon's former master Count Dooku. To fully grasp the disappointment that Dooku felt I thought it would be best to explain their relationship from the beginning. You see, by the time Jin turned 10 years old, he participated in the Exhibition Day Tournament. It was there that young students were encouraged to perform their skills so that they may be taken as an apprentice by one of the Jedi Knights or Jedi Masters. Jin easily bested all of his opponents and finally faced off against Tall. Even at that stage, his superior skills allowed him to easily win the fight. With this win, he managed to attract the attention of many prestigious masters and garner respect from other Jedi. And naturally, it was at this exhibition that Dooku first saw Jin's astonishing lightsaber skills. Dooku decided to take Qui-Gon as his Padawan a short time afterward, seeing the potential in him to become a great future Jedi. Together, they embarked on numerous missions across the galaxy, and their relationship evolved from master and Padawan to great friends. After falling at the hands of Darth Maul on Naboo, Qui-Gon Jinn continued to have a large impact on the future of the Jedi. After learning of his former Padawan's death, Dooku was visually seen to have been troubled by the events that took his dear friend. Now anyone who knows both Dooku and Qui-Gon definitely knows that they were both tough-minded and appreciated their individuality. In fact, both viewed the Jedi Council as something that is unnecessary and as a device to control the Jedi Order from expansion. In the aftermath of these tragic events and more, Dooku became even more disillusioned with the Jedi Order. This led him to further rationalize the philosophy of the dark side, contributing to his eventual fall. In the end, Dooku left the Jedi Order and became Darth Tyrannus, replacing Maul as Darth Sidious's Sith apprentice. One question that has always intrigued me is, if Qui-Gon survived, would he eventually have turned to the dark side as well? Since he already already was bothered by how the Order was being bogged down and his similar views with those of Dooku. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the Force be with you always.